great Adios who art in the sky. Please, guide us who stand upon this chaotic earth. Yoo-hoo, Estelle! Hi, Dorothy. You seem to be doing okay. Is your camera still treating you good? You bet. This girl's so cute, she looks great from any angle. And by this girl, you mean the Arsail? Oh, Dorothy, you're as you as ever. <laughs> you too, Estelle. You're just as full of energy as always. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, wait. Were you worried about me? Yeah, of course. I mean, I... Well, I took the photo of Joshua, right? If that made you all sad, I'd have to be sad too. Oh, Dorothy. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm a reporter, so it's my job to try and cheer people up. Um, sort of. If you're worried about anything else, talk to me anytime. <laughs> I'll, um, keep that in mind. I'm just going to be taking pictures of this beauty until the dragon shows up. And then, I'm going to pretend to get interior shots while getting pics of the lady captain instead. Uh-oh! They've got the game plan to get that Julia photo album out! Alright. Is he standing there at attention? Oh. I guess and that's him getting ready to actually speak to us, Sherazard. Shera, so this is where you are! Hi there, Estelle. Taking a walk? Yep. Enjoying the wind? Yes, the weather's lovely, so I'm taking it easy. Knowing when to take a breather is part of our job too, you know. Short breaks like these are good for keeping our minds sharp. Now's the perfect time. Yeah, I know. Hey, Shira, do you think the plan will work? To be honest, I don't know. Common Sense there's a, uh, says there's a very good chance it'll succeed. We have 12 patrol ships out on patrol as we speak, after all. Hard to imagine even something as powerful as a dragon getting away from all that. Yeah, I guess you're right. General Morgan was pretty confident, too. And that's just how he looks on the surface. Remember? He was none too happy to have bracers on board. And yet he let us on anyway. That can only mean one thing. He doesn't have as much confidence in this plan as he keeps assuring us he does. He's worried about how this will turn out, too. Exactly. And that, Estelle, is why conserving our strength right now is a good idea. <laughs> Makes sense. Guess I'll keep wandering around a bit. Good. That's what I like to hear. It's not every day you get to ride the Arsail. And enjoy yourself. True enough. See ya, Shira. See you soon, Estelle. Like right now, the fact that we're on board proves General Morgan is uneasy. We need to be ready to act at a moment's notice. But until then, I'm going to take it easy. And so we can go up one uh we can go up once more, and then if Zine is up here, then we'll go down instead. Chloe! I forgot about Chloe. Helms and uh Helmsman Lux. I think that's a uh, a woman? Oh yeah, you're those bracers, right? I'm Lux, the Arcel's helmsman. I'm in charge of piloting the ship. Sorry, but it looks like you guys aren't going to get a chance to show off. A dragon? Please. Even a dragon's nothing compared to the Arsail. You guys just sit back and enjoy the show. Alright, Lux. Uh, hello. You're the observers, right? I'm Leon, the Arsail's communications officer. I run the switchboard and radio here. Probably won't be a very long acquaintance, but it's nice to meet you. Uh... You guys are here to observe the operation, right? Well, I've just got one thing to say to you. Don't get in our way. Oh, okay. Echo is not as nice a lady as I originally assumed she'd be. Miss Bright, good day. How do you find the Arsail? It's really, really cool! I guess I shouldn't be surprised the Queen's ship is awesome, but still! Thank you for your kindness, Miss Bright. I am simply relieved the new engine made it in time. Of course, I hardly expected to use it on a mission of quite this... nature. I hear that. Who'd imagine a dragon would show up? Yes, it is an utter mystery as a foe, even to us. We may have a plan of attack, but it would be foolish to rely completely on it in the face of the unknown. Be prepared for anything, in case something goes... 
a mess. If anything happens, it'll be all up to us, huh? Hopefully it will not come to that. But only Adios knows what lies before us. Huh. Oh, by the way, Julia. Did you know that Niall, uh, Mr. Niall Burns wants to cover you for an article? An article? Uh, about me? Yeah, he wants the citizens to know the real real guard, he says. He's pretty serious about his job, so I think you can trust him, you know? I am well aware of Mr. Burns' professional credentials. If not, I would not have allowed him to accompany us and cover this story. Huh, makes sense. Oh, yeah, good point. To be honest, I absolutely support the idea behind such an article. However, I am afraid I must decline. Huh? Even if you support it? We have refused similar proposals from other companies as well, you see. We cannot give the Lumberall News any special treatment. Ah, I guess not. Forgive me, but please tell him as much. I still look forward to seeing the article, however. Okay, then. Huh. Unfortunately, it will be difficult for us to agree to the Liberal News' request. While I like the idea of the article, we have to be fair to everyone. Jeez. Estelle, hello! Are you finding it a little hard to calm down? Yeah, a bit. Really, can't stay still for this one. That reminds me, you, um, always walk around like this on passenger ships as well. <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, I do. I don't know, I feel all kind of suffocated and trapped when I just have to sit around politely. <laughs> That's very like you, Estelle. But, uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much in our sale. Huh? What do you mean? Property of the Osleys family it may be, but this is still a fully functional war cruiser. At full speed, its engine capabilities far exceed those of passenger vessels. If we go at flank speed, I don't think you'd even be able to remain standing. Is it seriously that fast with that new engine? <laughs> You'll be surprised, I think. It's a bit like walking into a storm. I... Uh, I see. So that kind of makes all this calm before the storm, then. Yes, after a fashion... This may be a very brief period of peace before the action begins. If you want to look around the interior, this may be your only chance. I'd better keep that in mind, then. Guess I better start wandering around faster, huh? Yes, I'll see you later. As you said, Estelle, this is the calm before the storm. If you want to have a look around the interior of the Arsail, this may be your only chance. Oh, okay, well... And then, we can... I wonder if we talk to Niall again, will anything really change? Try to ask Captain Schwartz for that interview at some point for me, yeah? The Royal Guard doesn't interact with the people much, so everyone's got plenty of questions about him. It'd be nice to get the chance to report on who she really is. Oh, um, about that, Niall. I'm afraid she just straight up refused. What? Refused? Already? <laughs> Sorry, Niall. She said something about it being kind of inconvenient? Ah, uh, right, right. Damn, she's even more guarded than I thought. I'm sorry, I wish we could have helped. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Not your fault they keep to themselves the way they do. Still, there's gotta be some other way. Just like Niall not to take a hint of the prize as a hot scoop. She wouldn't even say yes to you, huh? Figured it'd be easy to get at her through a friend, too. And then, interior shots of the captain. And so the last person we've got to speak with is Zine, then. And Zine should be down here. Ah, you're the Bracers I heard about. I never thought General Morgan would allow Bracers aboard. The Royal Army's really changing, I guess. I guess it's proof General Bright's re uh, reorganization is coming along. Huh. There's a lot more to this ship than I thought there. Ooh. Okay, so we can rest and stuff too. Uh, we don't need to, so we're not gonna worry about that just yet. Zine. Okay. So we want to leave Zine alone because there's no doubt in my mind that the door is tightly closed. Once we talk to Zine, it'll forcibly move us along. When that second coup attempt happened, we brought out these orbital-driven howitzers. They were all busted up during the fight, but we got them repaired quickly enough. We have trouble managing around co uh, ground combat without these. 
Hello, Estelle. It's been quite a while. I think this guy helped out with our ordnance when it was a uh, when it was the uh, female members of the team, and we fought Lawrence and saved the queen and stuff. I think he drove the airship and helped out with our ordnance and stuff. Uh, you're uh. Oh no! Did you forget me? It's Peyton, the mechanic. I was with you during one of your plans against Colonel Richard. Sorry, a lot's happened since then. I remember you now, though. You're the one who got us the Intelligence Division airship, right? <laughs> yep, glad I could be of help. And glad you didn't completely forget about me. Still, I'd heard there were bracers aboard, and I think Peyton also was in Cold Steel? In what capacity, though? No, he was on a... He was doing something mechanic-related. But I'm fairly certain he was there. I'm just not 100% sure where. And the thought crossed my mind that it might be you guys, but I didn't think I'd be right on the money. Small world, huh? We didn't think the Arsail would be here either. Seems like the Royal Army's pulling out everything for this mission. Yes, I've heard this is the largest Liberalian military mobilization since the Hundred Days War. And they tell me our target's a legendary ancient dragon. What better way to test the new engine though, right? You sure seem confident. Well, hey, in a way, all our, turning, uh, all our tuning of that thing was in preparation for this day. The designers from the Central Factory are here today, too, to collect data. It's finally time for the Arsail to make her grand entrance. I want her to fly like nothing's flown before. Alright. And he wants the Arsail's capabilities to wow everyone, which is admirable. Okay, and we've already talked to this Royal Guardsman. And yep. Okay, we can't go further than that. Hugo, we've done test after test to wring as much performance as we can from the engine. No matter how many experiments we do, though, in live combat, things will be different. As one of the development staff, I'm half eager and half terrified to see how the engine performs. If it can get us through this mission, I'd say all the hard work will have been worth it. This will be the first flight out of the nest for this little bird. I'll be seeing how she does in collecting the final data. Huh. Okay. Instruments check out. It isn't too often that you get to measure an engine's output in action. I am totally writing all this down for the engines we design in the future. Huh. Alright, and now we can top things off with Zine. And it looks like he's shadowboxing or something? Estelle, good to see you. What brings you here? I could ask the same thing of you, Zine. Uh, I know. Trying to catch a nap or something? <laughs> Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but no. I thought I'd get a little practice in. I cannot seem to stay calm sitting in a confined space like this ship. You're in the middle of one of your walks, I'd guess. Yeah, I can never manage to sit still myself. But practice, huh? Isn't that a little... Cramped for practice? Practice isn't all about movement, remember. There's plenty you can do even in a small space such as this. Huh? Like what? Breathing exercises and meditation for one. But practicing your forms is an important part of training as well. Especially for bracers like us, who tend to get a little sloppy and let our styles fall apart from so much live combat. It's important from time to time to find a chance to return to the basics and correct yourself. That's, um, a good point. I haven't actually done any discipline practice for a while now. Hearing you put it that way makes me worry I'm like an awful mess in a fight now. Oh man. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. I was speaking generally. Still, if it resonated with you, then there's nothing lost by finding a chance to recenter yourself. My offer still stands to be a practice partner. <laughs> Well, thanks, Zine. I may just take you up on that. I'll be looking forward to it. I'm going to continue my kata for a while. I want to be warmed up when that dragon appears. Okay. So, we can save it here. No doubt when we walk out onto the, um... When we walk out onto the thing, that's when it immediately is going to stop for us. No. Huh. Who else do we have to talk to? Oh, there it is. Signal from the- uh, Julia's voice. Signal from the Melder. Dragon in flight in airspace above the Malga Mine. All crew to battle stations. All crew to battle stations. Guild observers, report to the bridge. 
Here we go! Alright. Yeah. That thing looks freaking serious, dude. And now, are they gonna start with the tranquilizers? Those look like straight up bullets! Wonder if Lenhard is riding on it. Dang, that dragon can take a beating. What's happening? The dragon is above the Mulga mine. Look at the display. Hmm. Is it moving like how it's supposed to be? Malga. So it's in Relent. I'm amazed we found it. Where shall we intercept it, sir? A good question. We need to lure it to the lake, but we cannot afford to let it near the capital. Our interception point will be near the Lenhard River estuary. Huh. Patrol ships, lure the dragon to the riverside. Attack ships, forward. Aye, sir. This is the Arsail to all ships. Our interception point will be the Lenhart River Estuary. All patrol ships lead the Dragon to the interception point. Use Formation B. Attack ships, launch and proceed to the interception point. Hmm. Okay. So this is everybody. Oh, Cassius! To think he would actually fall into their hands. Perhaps I need to settle this myself. No. If I act, it will simply be the same thing all over again. Ha! <laughs> he and I are in the same position, I suppose. Great Adios, who art in the sky. Please, guide us who stand upon this chaotic Earth. Wow. So he did something before, but it didn't turn out super great. All attack ships have launched. Estimate their arrival at 1220 hours. <sighs> Full speed ahead. Pull us southwest of the interception point. Aye, sir. Restore orbital power, fl uh, restore orbital power flow to all sections. Ahead full. Helm, take us to the southwest of the Lenhart River estuary. So, okay, so it's coming from the opposite direction then. Or... Where's the dragon? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on right now. Are we inter- I should have paid more attention to the map it was just showing us. All attack ships have arrived at their designated positions. Oh, we're getting in position. Tranquilizer rounds loaded and ready. All right, all that's left is to wait for the dragon to show up. All attack ships, prepare to fire. Begin attack on my command. Aye, sir. And it begins. Okay. So, the in there's no way this intercept is going to work. Are they shooting it with tranquilizer bullets or what? Okay. Are we gonna prevail or not? Probably not, but... All ships, fire! Is... Is it working? It looks like it's taking damage. We're getting sleepy or whatever. Uh... It... They're trying. Oh! It did work! 
At least for the most part, maybe? This must have been some sort of fade on Lenhart's, uh... Wow! We even got the victory music? Huh! I think we got it! Absolutely incredible! Huh, not even a dragon could stand up against this! My goodness! It's like spectacle! What a performance! Confirming splashdown of dragon into Lake Valeria. Shall we proceed as planned and bind it, sir? Proceed. As soon as you've confirmed it's safe, bring the sail down. We'll perform a water landing and inspect the dragon ourselves. Aye, sir. I cannot believe that worked. Huh. Valeria Lake. How? Well, I'm sure they figured out how we're going to bind it. Hmm. I was honestly not expecting this to go so smoothly. But then again, they can't seriously expect us to be able to fight a dragon now, can they? Alright. And we've got Splashdown, folks. Water landing complete. No response from the dragon. Right then. Time to see this with my own eyes. Captain, accompany me. Sir. Okay. Um, can we? Yes, you should come too. This is an ancient dragon of legend. Not exactly something you'll get to see every day. Yeah! Alright, we get to walk out and see the dragon! Which we will do! Oh, everybody's here! Everyone's in our party except Zine. But we're gonna take a look at the dragon, see what that's all about. But it's all gonna be next time though, so definitely join me then for more Trails in the Sky second chapter. Bye for now, guys.